Okay, so we're gonna take this old NASA thing and bring it to a brand new entertainment center all for, hmm, how much did I pay for this? Well, look how much normal entertainments cost. There was no way, no way. Secret, any Sloan chalk paint, dude, I am obsessed. The actual piece cost me $30. And so this was like about 60 bucks. And this chalk paint lasted me, I did an entire hutch and this so you are getting so much bang for your buck you could paint this on literally anything now the amazing part about this chalk paint is i did not sand this i did not prime it i literally just slapped it on there painted it with a brush any kind of brush like that will work perfectly then after you paint the entire piece of furniture all you do is wax and i'll show you exactly how to do that once i get to the waxing now you're going to want to make sure that it's completely dry before you do the second coat which it's so so fast how fast this dries usually by the time I'm done painting the entire thing you can go ahead and start your second coat then I would wait about one full day at least a full 24 hours before you wax the piece and yes now without the wax it feels like chalk you touch it it kind of has that gritty texture and by adding the wax it smooths it out it gives it more that um, smooth finish that you want you know that makes you feel like you actually bought the piece of furniture so I definitely recommend waxing it or sealing it once you're done painting it and uh, the wax is really simple to use all you do is take a piece of white uh, t-shirt material or um, cheesecloth. The reason why I recommend white is because this color is white and I didn't want the cloth that I was using to transfer on it at all. So I just used a 100% cotton white old t-shirt that I had. I cut it up and I just dip it in the wax. The littlest amount of wax is all you need. You don't need a ton of wax. Like don't go slathering this soft wax right here is what I'm talking about. See, I gently rub it into uh, the mixture and just wipe it onto the piece of furniture. Again, you don't need to dunk a ton of it in there. You're just going to gently wax this on top of it. And yes, it will give you that smooth, like locked in, done piece of furniture feeling. And if you've ever used chalk paint, you know what I mean. It's just got that little grit and this will smooth it out. And yeah, that's pretty much the complete video, you guys. This is ridiculously simple. I 100% recommend it if you are on a budget. Just go looking at your thrift stores. You will be pleasantly surprised at what you'll find and I this was such a steal I paid $30 for this thing it's nice and tall it holds the TV beautifully and it does exactly what I want to there's even additional shelving inside of that and there is the little drawer at the bottom so that is a complete steal but anyways I am addicted to thrift store uh, <laughs> checking it out to find furniture but okay guys thank you so much for watching this is the complete look and I'll see you in my next DIY love you bye